So we've just got in the brand new Zortrax Inventure. Let's take a closer look. The day has finally arrived. We're going to be unboxing the Zortrax Inventure. Um, we've been waiting ages for this to come in, um, but we've got great expectations for it. Um, we'll give you a rough overview as well of how everything works. So um, to start with, we'll get it unpackaged. Uh, it comes to you in this box. It does weigh quite a bit actually, um, so you might need a hand with it. Um, it's this foam packaging. You've got the power cable and your instructions there. Uh, you also get uh, two spools of material, and these are on smart spools, um, so they're, they're uh, programmed to recognize, be recognised by the uh, Zortrax Inventor. And the first one is ZPETG in grey. And you get another uh, spool, which is Z support for doing your uh, dissolvable supports. You also get a starter kit, and I'll show you what's in there. You get a small screwdriver, and a build plate. These are uh, consumable parts, and I reckon you'll get about 12 prints out of one of these. You get a scraper, uh, a small tool there. I'm not really sure what that's for at this moment, but um, I'm sure it'll become clear. USB adapter, just in case you don't have um, an SD card reader on your computer. You've got a set of Allen keys, uh, some grease there for the access rods and two um, thin little needles. And they are a 0.4 mil and a 0.35 mil. Um, and these are for um, sorting out any blockages if you get them in the nozzles, which is quite useful. So I'll just put that to one side for now. And as well as that one um, build plate, you also get another four um, and I'd imagine these will become available in packs of four like this. So as mentioned, you get about 12 prints out of those. So to get you started, you've got quite a lot. Um, you shouldn't need new ones straight away. And then let's get the printer out. And as I mentioned, it is quite heavy. Let's remove the bag. And that is everything that you get in the box. So we'll just remove these bits of tape. So now we'll just run over the um, main features on the printer. So you've got these two side panels. Uh, this is where the uh, smart reels go. And you have your build material on the right and your support material on the left. There's just two little catches that hold them in place. Uh, once your spool's on, there is a little lock that you need to do to lock the spool in, and then you're good to go. And they just shut up like that. Um, you've also got a, a HEPA filter on this machine, which is located on the back. Um, these last quite a long time, so you're not gonna really need to replace that anytime soon. Um, but there is just a small, small screw there um, which just removes a panel to allow you to change that. Now if we move around to the front of the machine, um, you can see that you've got a screen and display here, a power button and three control buttons. You've got um, an SD card slot, and so it runs off SD card just like the M200. You load your files on there. Uh, when you first start up the machine, you'll need to update the firmware. So you just get the .bin file um, from the website, put that on, put it in the machine, and everything will be done for you. So to open up the door, it is held in with magnets, and the door and top panel um, lock when the printer's in use. 
It's just to ensure that the, uh, the temperature remains steady inside because it's a heated chamber on this printer rather than a heated plate. And if we look inside, uh, you can see that there's an empty plate there um, and two nozzles. And they're at slightly different heights. Um, so, so you've got obviously your left and your right. And then at the back here, you've got a little um, cleaning station, which the nozzles move backwards onto and just clean themselves off if they get any strands during a print. And then there's a little collection bin that you can empty out. So if I grab one of our uh, build plates, you can see on the bottom here, there's um, some little clips in various positions and these just slot in to the metal plate there and just slides on with a nice sturdy fit. And then we'll just shut the door there. If we go over to the, the top of the printer, open that up and for the first time when you open it you'll notice there's some packaging in there so we'll take that out and then you can just move the print head by hand so you bring that backwards there's another piece of foam and just remove that there's also another piece of tape on here so we'll just take that off now if we can find the end there it is Okay. And this is a good opportunity to show you the top. Uh, if you look inside, uh, you can see that there's like this um, folded up material which kind of protects, protects the top of the machine um, and stops anything sort of falling down into the build area. Um, it, it's a similar sort of looking print head to the, to the M200, but um, you can see here that the, the filament tubes run along this sort of track um, that goes along both sides to keep it out of the way and again I think some of the parts on here are 3D printed which is good to see but yeah nice and tidy in there and I think the pulleys even work slightly differently so yeah there's, there's a lot of uh, lot of work gone into making this printer work well. Okay, so that's the basics of the Inventure itself. Um, you've also got the option to buy this DSS station along with it. And this is basically a small little machine that allows you to dissolve um, your dissolvable support material. Um, so it's the perfect companion to the Inventure. Um, if we take a closer look at it, inside you can see you've got this cage here, um, which your prints will sit in. Just put them in and you fill up the tank with warm water. And you can see there's a the heating element inside there and also this um, rotor uh, that I'm assuming circulates the water while the print is in just to keep it moving all the time and make sure that the um, supports dissolve as quickly as possible. So literally a case of just putting your print in with some water, putting the lid on and then on the front you can see you've got uh, a temperature control and also a time control. So you can literally just set it off to do its thing and by the time you've finished, by the time it's finished, um, you can come back and you'll have a perfect print with no support material left. Just another thing to note, if you look around the back here, you can see you've got a little um, waste outlet valve, um, so you can just release all the water from there. So there's no need to sort of tip it out at a sink or anything like that. So it's all nice and, nice and clean and easy to use. Um, yeah, if you want to buy this, you can do so by clicking the link up here. Um, please be sure to um, leave your comments in the section below if you've got any questions about the Inventure or the DSS station. I'm sure you've got plenty because it is a very new machine. There's not a lot of content out um, on it. Um, yeah, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll be making loads of content on this new machine.